It's a sad, sad day. When somebody like, else is pulling into our spot. Yeah. We're not parked there anymore, and now the new park post is moving in. We'll be pulling out of here. We got everything hooked up yesterday before the cold started. So we'll be pulling out of here in probably about an hour. I'm gonna miss this place bad. Good morning. Um, I am back in Texas and I am kinda, well I guess I'm in West Texas. But as y'all have probably heard, Texas is like flooding. So we're parked right here right now and right behind me is a river. So I think we're gonna move because I'll show you why. This ground is soggy, soggy. And you probably just heard about the Lano River bridge breaking. And you know, you just don't think about things like that happening. And then when I heard it, I started thinking about this. Let's see if you can, can you see that? This used to be a road, and I was here a few months ago, and I think I took a picture of this. If I did, I'll insert it here, but this is really concerning to me. Um, if I come back over here, you know, it's almost up, overflowing. So if that wall breaks, yeah. Um, so we're moving the RV today. <laughs> Yesterday it wasn't flowing that bad when I first it's I'm afraid this wall is just gonna break any second and you know it's it's way down there right now but if that wall breaks it's gonna come up really fast on this side so it's just gonna we're just gonna move it over on the other side for now and we're gonna come back and pick it up a little bit later but gotta go into town and go to Walmart get some propane ran out of propane this morning it's cold that's what's on the agenda today um, making it to Lollapalooza and hopefully it uh, will dry out before then okay guys it is a Wednesday night and I have to tell you this story just because it's small town politics and I pay taxes in this county and I own a lake house and I will link that video above because y'all have seen that. I have a dilemma. What am I going to do with my lake house? It's raining so I'm going to hurry up with this video but I am in a town and I am in their county park and I want to show you right now there is nobody I stayed here last night over there there's a river over there and I talked about that earlier and there's nobody here it's a Wednesday night that's all 30 amp circuits no dump over here is 50 amp circuits and there is water sewer and electric you see these people over here i'll talk about them in a minute this is us and that's them nobody else is here they knocked on my door the county knocked on my door today and said i had to leave tonight because they were having a cook-off this weekend there's nobody here why do i have to leave tonight do you see this it's after working hours. It's, as you can see, it's late. It's probably 6.20 or so. And they told, they told me I had to leave today. I said, mm, no, I will leave in the morning. But they told the other people over here. Do you see them? Yeah, they told them they had to leave today. There's no signs on the entrance of this park. No signs on the campsites. They're reserved. They're closed. 
there's an event there is nothing yeah I got the county commissioner's um, card and I'm gonna contact them I talked to a lady over here in this building I wish I'd have got her name but I didn't but um, she did tell me after I went and talked to her that I didn't have to leave until Friday remind you today's Wednesday the event isn't this week isn't until this weekend obviously but I had to leave tonight I went and talked to her and she said no you can leave Friday but they never told those people they've been here over a month they're building a house in this county they're paying taxes here guess what you know they're raising money for this park which I'm glad that I have a place to come to it's twenty dollars a night it's not free so it's not like I'm staying here for free it's twenty dollars a night I took some video of this a few months ago this is where you pay I'll show you that when I paid last time when I was in the truck camper so it's not like it's free it's not like we're taking advantage they were told they had to leave tonight. The event doesn't even start till this weekend. They have to leave. What's wrong with this? Small town politics. All right. Well, that's my rant. They're leaving. They were made to leave at 6.51. You know, these people get off at five o'clock from the county. Nobody needs to leave an RV park at 6.51 p.m. I think this is a funny sticker. This container is under video surveillance. Really? Somebody might steal trash. Out walking Sammy. This is just so wet. Oh, look at all the people for the cook off. Oh my gosh, look at it. It is just unbelievably overwhelming with people. I'm sure glad that, you know, they ran those people off so they'd have places for all the people that are here for the cook-off. I see all the turkeys. There's some over here too. Okay, so I showed you a picture of this river a couple of days ago when it was flowing and I was worried about it. I will show you now. We were parked right over there, that very first campsite, and I moved. Of course, we're leaving now, so I can't show you where. Can you see that? Let me get closer. I was worried about it breaking the wall. I mean, now it's at least going over the wall, but they're having an event this weekend. They asked us to leave, so guess what? We're leaving. I'm gonna go on my way to Lollapalooza so I'm getting a little closer and I think I'm gonna stay in a state park for a few days we're all hooked up ready to go that's where I was parked last night didn't think the water would get up that high this is horrible This is just horrible. I think I'm going to go around the front. It is a nasty mess. So I got about an hour and a half to drive. About 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So they got their little tent up. But it is going to be nasty this weekend. <laughs>